Good afternoon from uh, Washington DC, the uh, nation's capital, and I'm actually standing opposite where the White House is. And uh, to be honest, what you see on TV and on the news and programs of the White House is slightly different to the view that you get from uh, the outside viewing area because um, there's not much of a view actually and uh, it's one thing that I've noticed in this area that um, a lot of people have come here uh, to take photos of the White House and there's not much of a view that you get from it because I think in the news they probably go a bit further down uh, towards the White House but from the main uh, public uh, walkway that's here uh, there's not much actually um, I, and I'm not sure how much my camera is going to be able to capture but there's not much of a uh, uh, angle that you can get a good photo from but lots of people here trying to take their photos um, you could probably zoom in and take a photo of the White House if you want but if you want one with the White House in the background it's going to be difficult because it's quite far out actually very very far out but there's a lot of people here a lot of people standing around if you look at that area over there that's quite crowded so just uh, walking uh, basically where the uh, National Mall area is and you can see the uh, Washington Monument there in the background and uh, this whole area actually has a lot of monuments uh, associated with it um, one of the most famous ones being the uh, Abraham Lincoln Memorial uh, which uh, I'll try and get to see as well I'll try and get to see that one uh, because that's uh, obviously featured in a lot of films as well uh, and a lot of uh, programs or Abraham Lincoln being one of the great presidents of the uh, US assassinated actually um, I think assassinated in a theater if I'm not um, mistaken but it's one of uh, two presidents assassinated uh, John F Kennedy being the other and uh, the actual grounds, I think there's actually uh, some sort of event going on here because uh, there's lots of barriers here and there's lots of stations where there's water so there might be an event taking place here in the uh, National Mall area so just walking, so the White House is in that direction there the uh, Washington Monument is just over there and uh, would have liked to have gone straight through here actually but it's got barriers and uh, it's uh, barricaded up but uh, the day is actually quite nice here. it's quite sunny and uh, lots of people are out lots of uh, tourists lots of locals are out here out and about making the most of the weather making the most of the situation but actually I do have to say that coming from uh, Philadelphia and New York Washington actually seems totally different because uh, it's uh, got a lot of uh, wide avenues wide streets and uh, the space here seems to be a lot more than uh, Philadelphia and New York are quite built up anyway and so coming to a place like this where things suddenly open up just feels different just feels just felt different actually coming in from uh, Union Station into Washington uh, checked in at my hotel and then out and about and it just feels different here the streets are so open and uh, it's just not as uh, rushed as what New York is and Philadelphia even Philadelphia to a certain extent is bu is built up is busy lots of activity there and uh, Washington is uh, a lot more open uh, easy to get around actually as well having said that New York and Philadelphia aren't that difficult to get around but uh, it's crowded it's busy uh, and here except for that area you probably see it in the background there crowds right in front of where the White House is apart from that 
generally I think it's it's actually okay don't think these are the sorts of crowds that would warrant it being busy um, I can imagine maybe um, 4th of July and other such dates significance and dates in in the US it's busier here but it's uh it's, it's actually pleasing actually to walk around in a place and not feel rushed all the time because uh, that's what it's been like so far in New York and Philadelphia so that's the angle where you want to stand actually to get a uh, glimpse of the White House to put it in um, perspective this is how far I am actually out from the White House and you probably can't see it uh, with normal normal lens so uh, which which is why I think uh, nobody's here they're all standing next to that railing where they can see nothing uh, it's actually a poor view from there uh, you do get a better view um, actually the, the further I'm going out actually the better the better view that you get from it so I think the uh, the ground actually slopes the ground actually goes downwards and so it's on a White House is actually elevated and so it's actually a better view the further you go out so that's my tip actually don't get close to the White House or well, as close as possible actually or as close as they allow you because uh, there are barriers there but you want to be standing far out and now I'm actually quite quite a way out actually from the White House and uh, with my eyes actually rather than the camera lens I, I've got a brilliant view of the White House so this is where you want to be look there's nobody here absolutely nobody here and they're getting a view through right in fact from here um, with the naked eye you can't see the railings uh, the White House is above those now so this ground definitely slopes downwards coming from there it's going downwards actually and so that's why now you get a better view in fact now I'm almost straight on almost straight on and uh, I'll get a uh, I'll, I'll get a different lens just to show you uh, exactly how it looks like from I'm very very close to um, what would be the uh, monument Washington Monument and so let's have a look at how the uh, with a zoom how the uh, White House looks from uh, this angle because to be fair this is probably one of the best views that you'll get of it uh, and um, there's absolutely no one no one here and so they're all missing a trick by taking photos of the railing the railings will be in their photos not the White House and the railings you could take anywhere just pick a normal rail um, and take a photo of a railing because that's all you're going to get you're not really going to get and, and if they zoom in they're going to miss themselves so or you have to photoshop your pictures and you, then you might as well just stay at home and photoshop it but let's have a look how it looks like with uh, uh, my camera where if I zoom in so right in front of me you have the uh, where the uh, tourists are hanging out trying to get a glimpse of the White House and to be honest you can't see anything from where they are and uh, just if you go a little bit forwards towards the uh, national, the, the monument, the Washington Monument, you get a better view of the White House, a much better view of the White House, but there's no one here. There's absolutely no one here. Look, if you have a look, absolutely no one. And you actually get a better, better view, better glimpses of it. So all those tourists that are over there need to be over here because that's where you see nothing and this is where you actually do see the White House but these are the kind of lengths that you've got to go to to see the White House because everything you see on TV about how they make it look close uh, it's not that close in real life um, they must use uh, good cameras actually to get their footage because uh, where the tourists are they can't see anything there's a lot of people there have taken photos uh, with the White House behind them but the White House is going to be look so small it's going to look like any other house it could be the White House, the Green House, the Red House, the Brown House, whatever house it just uh, doesn't look like it so this is where you've got to go you got to stand quite far back and then you get a better view of the house so that's my tip stand well far back where you see nobody 
that because that's where you'll see the White House. Just walking further down this uh, National Mall area and uh, I noticed actually that the uh, place where the statue of uh, Abraham Lincoln is uh, kept is uh, straight ahead and uh, I must admit it's my first time in Washington DC itself and so far I'm impressed with the way that things are laid out here uh, the openness the expansive areas that they've got here and uh, even uh, sort of, I would say post-COVID, I don't think uh, this is uh, the busiest that this place gets. But even uh, with the crowds that are here today, it still looks relatively busy. Um, but I, I think when um, national holidays and uh, other significant days, there'll be more crowds than this. But actually, there's more people here actually um, in front of uh, this monument. Uh, than were close to the White House so that's actually quite staggering but because the White House is more familiar to people although I expect that if you are a US citizen uh, you will know the history um, the place that uh, Abraham Lincoln occupies in uh, US history is one of the great presidents of the uh, United States uh, probably put down uh, the uh, abolishment of uh, slavery down to him he, he was a big uh, force um, where the uh oh let's have a look what does it say here in the presence of washington and lincoln one of the 18th century father and the other the 19th century preserver of our nation we honor those 20th century americans who took up the struggle during the second world war and made the sacrifices to perpetuate the gift of our forefathers entrusted to us a nation conceived in liberty and justice um, heavy words indeed and uh, so there's a few memorials here actually this is a world world war ii memorial here with uh, George W. Bush's name on here D D American Battle Monuments Commission 2004 number of uh, monuments here it's also one that says Pacific over there so this actual area itself um, has a number of uh, monuments and uh, I can see straight ahead the Abraham Lincoln memorial as well and it's got a number of uh, epitaphs I should say in this area Pacific it's got a monument there and it's got the uh, around that it's actually got the uh, from what I can see most of the states of the US we've got Delaware, New Jersey, Connecticut, Maryland, New Hampshire, New York, it's a Rhode Island, Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Maine, Arkansas, Iowa, California, Oregon, West Virginia, Nebraska, North Dakota, Montana, Idaho, Utah, New Mexico, District of Columbia, Hawaii, Guam, American Samoa. Got a number of uh, got more here. There's not just states actually, you've got Philippines, Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Alaska, Arizona. So this is all to do with um, the Pacific, I'm guessing. That's what the Pacific Monument is there. And uh, I guess that there's a uh, water feature here. Maybe it's uh, turned on in the evenings here in uh, the capital city. Uh, I hear actually that um, Washington DC at night is supposed to be pretty good when the lights come on and uh, most of the area here is lit up so if possible I will try and visit some of these areas uh, when it is night time and uh, see what it's got to offer. So just walking up to uh, Abraham Lincoln's uh, memorial and uh, for those of you who into your planet of the apes this is where 
in uh, the version that had uh, Mark Wahlberg in the film with the uh, Helena Bonham Carter also in the film this is where his spacecraft uh, crashed and uh, as far as Planet of the Apes is concerned that's probably the worst film out of that series but this is where he crashed actually and uh, that aside that's just a bit of a useless trivia there for you but this is where the uh, great Abraham Lincoln's memorial is and actually this building is modeled on uh, it's, if it's very, very familiar of, for those of you that have been to Greece this is uh, modeled on the Parthenon in Greece and uh, it's got a very similar design oh, is it there? Yeah. and uh, just walking up it's actually quite a trek up these steps to get here and good crowds here today as well in this temple as in the hearts of the people for whom he saved the union the memory of Abraham Lincoln is enshrined forever so here is the statue of Abraham Lincoln So a lot of people are visiting these uh, memorials that are here. There's also a Thomas Jefferson one as well. And uh, also other memorials, like the ones that I've gone past. And uh, this is Abraham Lincoln's one. And just looking at the uh, structure of the building. It's also another grand building, actually. Like I said, it's modelled on the Parthenon in uh, Greece and it has that very similar sort of feel you know it, if you didn't know that you're in the US you could quite easily be thinking I am in Athens or Rome because those cities um, echo this architecture and uh, to be honest it's quite dark in here I thought there'd be better lighting actually in here, but there's not. I'm not sure if at night time uh, there's any lighting that comes on. But at the moment it's quite dark in here. And as you look out, those are the views that you get straight on as soon as you head out of uh, Abraham Lincoln's memorial. And uh, also Martin Luther King, I Have a Dream, the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, August the 28th, 1963, I Have a Dream by Martin Luther King, another very famous speech from those steps, in fact, looking down towards the monument. So Abraham Lincoln, another well-known president, highly respected president of the US, Martin Luther King, another respected uh, freedom fighter uh, from the US. Uh, the March for Freedom. It's actually quite a um, poignant location actually. It actually does do justice to these, uh, to the monuments and those that they're trying to uh, remember and uh, glorify because uh, these are people that have gone down in history. Most people on this earth don't really do anything significant and leave a mark. They generally just live their life, work, feed their families and go basically look after themselves and their families there's not a lot of people actually that do service for others and uh, so when there are people that fight for a cause uh, not just their own and they're remembered it's good that they're remembered in locations like this and 
and uh, drinks being sold here. Actually, fancy a drink. What have they got? Water, Coke, apple tea, vitamin water. I can't have anything sugary because I want to eat later on uh, and see what I've got. You got Diet Coke? Diet Coke, $3. I know. So what? What? Water? There's three there for you. There Thank you. you. Thank you. Right. So yeah, nothing sugary for me. I want to eat dinner later on. It's a problem with these sugary drinks. They've ruined your appetite. And when you're in Washington DC and uh, you want to explore the food culture here, the food scene, then uh, you need to uh, be ready for it. But like I said, it's a shame it's not uh, <laughs> filled with water here. There you go, bottled water safety. <laughs> be careful when you buy bottled water. Who you buy bottled water from? Approved sellers use the National Park Service Arrowhead and sell factory sealed bottled water. Non-approval sellers have been known to sell refilled bottles of water. So there you go, you know, this sort of thing happens in the Western world as well, you know. A lot of people think it only happens in uh, developing countries where people will give you uh, basically fake water. Well, it's not fake water, it's just uh, you don't know where it's from. And uh, you, don't, you don't know the quality of it. But I bought a can of Coke. So uh, I, doubt, I doubt you can go wrong with that. But actually the weather seems to be cooling down a bit now as well just as I head out Excuse me. and uh, it's busy here it's busy people walking to the uh, Abraham Lincoln statue and walking out of the Abraham Lincoln statue it's busy it's busy on those steps actually very busy on those steps I think definitely if you're here for a short time, combine the, this area I think with uh, maybe a museum or two uh, because if the Smithsonian ones are free here. So I mean you get to see the outside of the White House um, Mon National Monument, Abraham Lincoln statue, Thomas and Jefferson uh, Memorial. I should say Abraham Lincoln's memorial actually, not Abraham Lincoln's statue, it's a memorial. Uh, the National Mall area and uh, spend some time here you do have to walk about quite a bit because uh, it's a large area it's, it's expansive so it will take some time and it does get quite tiring but um, I think it's about a day a day that you need to spend doing this because uh, it takes uh, quite a lot of time uh, combing this area and uh, getting value from it because when you're here you might as well see all this and then um, maybe head off to a bit further down to Capitol and uh, go on from there but I think this mall area, National Mall area you need to spend some time here and uh, take in the surroundings you know go to the ice cream carts the drinks carts fast food stalls um, use the uh, green areas to relax because that's what people are doing especially when the weather is uh, fine such as today make use of uh, this area because uh, coming as I did from uh, Philadelphia New York it, it's, it's nice to be in an open area now it's, um, this is um, totally different so uh, from uh, the uh, behind me Abraham Lincoln's memorial it's uh, goodbye from uh, the National Mall. <laughs>